One of the most common questions you see on VXR owners groups is what mods do I need for 300 horsepower? Unfortunately, you always get a mix of answers, some with missing parts and some with extra stuff thrown in there that'll waste you hundreds of pounds you didn't need to spend. So in this video I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to take any Astra VXR to 300 horsepower as long as the engine is healthy. The easiest thing you can do to get a bit more power out of an Astra VXR is to remap the car. There are reputable tuners offering stage 1 tunes that will take you straight from 236 horsepower and 236 pounds feet to around 260 horsepower and 285 pounds feet with no supporting mods provided the car has no hardware issues. That's a 10% increase in power and 20% increase in torque, which should be pretty noticeable. Before you go and throw a map on your stock VXR though, there are some easy performance gains to be had. If you fit a full 2.75 inch or 3 inch exhaust with a pre-cat delete and a sports cat, or even a main cat delete as well, before tuning, you could see over 280 horsepower and 320 pounds feet of torque. Fitting a cheap panel filter is also a pretty good idea at this point too. This is what most tuners would call stage two, and it's a really good price to performance ratio since you're not spending thousands of pounds, but you're gaining a decent bit of power. Now to finally push the car over the 300 horsepower mark, we're going to need to spend a bit more money and do a bit more work. The main thing that's needed to get into the 300 horsepower region is an upgraded intercooler. An AirTech, Courtenay Sport, MTC, Wagner or Nevlock intercooler will reduce the charge temperatures and improve flow through the intake since the stock intercooler's capabilities are pretty much reached around 280 horsepower. It's worth sizing this with your end goal in mind. If you're planning to forge and aim for 400 horsepower plus, you should get an intercooler rated for that power to avoid having to buy twice. At this point, you probably want to completely remove the stock intake and do what's called a crossover delete, where you fit a comb filter to increase the amount of air available to the turbo. An enlarged top hat, which is the 90 degree elbow on top of the inlet manifold, can also help free up an extra few horsepower at this level of tune. This is a cheap part that also improves the look of the engine bay, but I have heard of people hitting 300 horsepower without it. What don't you need though? There are a few common parts people like to suggest that just aren't required unless you're going for way more than 300 horsepower and the price can quickly add up buying things that you don't even need. For a start, you won't need bigger injectors. The stock ones do just fine at under 90% duty cycle at this power level, but if you were fitting a hybrid turbo and shooting for over 330 horsepower, then you might want to consider it. You shouldn't need an upgraded fuel pump. The factory fuel pump shouldn't struggle to keep fuel pressure at 300 horsepower unless it's starting to show signs of age, but it can be cheap peace of mind to fit an upgraded one just in case. The last thing you want is to run lean mid-pull and nuke your engine. You don't need an upgraded inlet manifold or cams, and you certainly don't need a hybrid turbo just to make 300 horsepower. With all of the above, you can see 330 horsepower out of a healthy VXR, but plenty of people have made 320 with a completely stock turbo. So you really don't want to waste a grand on one for no reason if you're not pushing it that far. Those are the big three that are really annoying to see listed when someone asks how to get 300 horsepower out of their VXR, because those are really expensive parts and it makes no sense to just throw them on the car when it should make the power you're asking about without touching those at all. Finally, you should look into either Turbo Smart or Forge actuators and recirc valves for the turbo, even though they're not strictly necessary to make the power. These Astras are getting old now and there's no guarantee that your stock wastegate spring will be up to the task of making over 20 psi. Stock recircs like to fail for fun and the Forge and Turbo Smart ones basically last forever. If you go into the effort of tuning your car, you should do it properly. So with these parts fitted to your car and the appropriate tuning done afterwards to get the most out of them, you should be able to achieve that magic number. If you can't get to 300 with those mods, then there's likely a problem with the tune a hardware problem like boost leaks, a leaky wastegate, fueling issues, or low compression, or just a restriction somewhere in the intake or exhaust. At that point, you're going to want to work with the tuner to fix the problem, rather than telling people on Facebook that you need a stage 1 hybrid turbo to get past 280 horsepower. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Every day.